Open doors are the act of God suddenly and miraculously transforming a person's life, position, status, situations, etc. all of a sudden or overnight. Thus making him or her a wonder to behold, or a wonder to his or her world all of a sudden. It's a sudden breakthrough from every side, all things, all of a sudden begin to fall in place for you. And everything all of a sudden begins to work for your good. Like the Bible says, in Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. That describes what happens when a person had an open door. When you have open doors, people who hitherto hated you all of a sudden, start loving you and favoring you. When your doors open, where you were rejected severally begins to look for you and make offers and overtures for you. When you have open doors, those who owe you and have vowed not to pay you, all of a sudden will begin to call or look for you, to pay you. And those who have refused to sign or release to you what should be yours, or what you are demanding all of a sudden, will sign, release, and approve your requests. When you have open doors, all of a sudden supernatural and amazing positive surprises, will begin to come to you from every side. A sudden miraculous happenings and sudden change of stories, will start coming your way from all sides. People all of a sudden, will begin giving you a platter of gold. What you have struggled and labored to have or get for many years, with your human strength, energy, wisdom, and skills. But all of a sudden, you begin having them with ease and without sweats and struggles. When your doors open, those who hitherto despised you, vilified you, bullied and impugned you, all of a sudden will begin to honor, respect and love you. Those who falsely accused you and those who misconstrued and misjudged you, all of a sudden will realize that you are right and that they are wrong. Those and many more are signs, evidence and proofs, that your doors have been opened. And that you have had an open door. Like in the case of the Israelites while in bondage in Egypt, all of a sudden, when God granted open doors, their Egyptian despisers all of a sudden, began to love, respect, and treat them with dignity and honors. They suddenly became their lovers and benefactors, and gave them whatever they requested or asked of them, without qualms, delays, or hesitation. And that can only be possible, only when God opens a person's doors. In Exodus 12 36, the Bible says, and the Lord had given the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, so that they granted them what they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. This can only be God. And a typical divine open doors at work. Still, in the same case study of the Israelites, the freedom they have sought and waited for, for years, was given to them in rush and with push and haste to go. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 12 verse 31, then he called for Moses and Aaron by night, and said, Rise, go out from among my people, both you and the children of Israel. And go, serve the Lord as you have said. And in verse 32 of chapter 12 of the same Exodus, the Bible says that the king who has hitherto refused and declined their request said to them, Also take your flocks and your herds, as you have said, and be gone, and bless me also. And in verse 33 of the same Exodus chapter 12, the Bible says, And the Egyptians urged the people, that they might send them out of the land in haste. For they said, We shall all be dead. That is typical of divine open doors. Like in a dream of the night, the Israelites who went to bed as slaves, woke up freed and being urged and pushed to be free and to have their freedom. Like in the case of Joseph in Genesis chapter 41, when his open door came, he who went to sleep a slave boy, and a prisoner, woke up to become a prime minister, the next to Pharaoh, in rank and command. His story all of a sudden changed. What about Modakai a gatekeeper? From gatekeeping to becoming a noble and king's right-hand man. Despite being in a foreign land. All these happened all of a sudden. Time will fail me to talk about Esther, who from housemaid became queen, to the then strongest king on earth. How about David? From shepherd boy to an anointed king. The list is endless. Time will also fail me to talk about Mary, Hannah, Elizabeth, Paul, Peter, and Abraham, Moses, and a host of many others, too many to mention, 
to who God granted open doors in diverse ways. Some he took from obscured position to historical enigma of our faith, and tall figures of all times, and unforgettable phenomenons. Even in our contemporary time, there also abound men and women who God has taken from dungeons and obscurities, and made famous and generational figures. But in all, it goes to show that our God is a specialist in granting of open doors, to those who fear Him. Therefore I prophesy to you, my listeners, like a dream of the night and all of a sudden. Your desired change has come, the jinx of delays in your life is broken, and your doors to wealth, happy marriage, healing, favor from every side are opened, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And as God had done in the past, He is still ever ready and willing to open your doors, even today, if you can believe and trust Him to do it for you. He promises to do more, even for you today, only if you can believe, and trust Him. In Isaiah 43 19 He says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. God can, and is able to turn things around for you. A day of His favor and open door for you, can pay for your entire lifetime of laboring. He says in Jeremiah 32 verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? And the answer is obviously nothing. Your situation and condition are nothing with Him when He remembers you. And the good news for you is that He has remembered you. And as we pray, every door of success, breakthrough, and progress, that is closed against you, shall swing opened, in the name of Jesus. For He says in Revelation chapter 3 verse 8, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door, and no one can shut it, for you have a little strength, have kept my word, and have not denied my name. And one good thing about God is that, when He opens your door, nobody can shut it, and it is total. When He opened the prison doors for Paul and Silas, it was total, all the doors, gates, chains etc. were altogether opened at once. Unless it is not God, but if it's God, it's total open doors. Therefore, I prophesy and decree unto you, in the mighty name of Jesus, every closed doors against your progress, against your wellness, against your breakthrough, against your liberty and freedom, I command it to open now, in the name of Jesus. Doors of opportunities, doors of favor, doors of honors, doors of peace, be opened, in the name of Jesus. As your doors open now, I decree, let it be total and permanent open doors for you, in the name of Jesus. I decree open for you, doors of honor, doors of wealth and riches, doors of lucrative jobs and employment, doors of a career breakthrough and gainful engagements, doors of good health, healing, and longevity, doors of all-around breakthrough and blessings. Receive now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for you now. Dear Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all my listeners, those whose doors for breakthroughs and progress, have been closed by the devil or whatever, Lord I declare and decree, in the name of Jesus, every closed door open, in the name of Jesus. Doors of favor, progress, prosperity, success, and all around breakthroughs open, in the name of Jesus Christ. For it is written in Isaiah 22 verse 22. The key of the house of David. I will lay on his shoulder, so he shall open, and no one shall shut, and he shall shut, and no one shall open. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I command any door, that God has not shut against any of these listeners here, to open now, in the name of Jesus. The doors of promotion open, in the mighty name of Jesus. And doors, as you open now, I command you in the name of Jesus, never to shut again, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree restoration of all that you have lost, due to the closed doors in the name of Jesus. Every health loss, careers losses, business and investment losses, education losses. I demand restoration for you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dear Father Lord, for you have answered me, 
for I prayed in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you for joining us in this heavy breakthrough. Please give this video a thumbs up to reach more people. If you are new here, subscribe to join us in our subsequent upcoming videos. God bless you.